Another fun-filled day of, what are we doing today? We're going to a flea market. A flea market. I've always wanted a pet flea. Do they have a bunch of types? So is it like a flea circus where you can't buy them, they're just there for entertainment? No, I'm vegan, I would never take you to something like that. You would take me to a place where the fleas were given jobs clothing and stuff. Because all living things are just like people. My phone's been acting up. Google Pixel 2. This is the non-XL, but it's been it's been acting funky. Volume isn't always responsive. What's uh what's what's your phone bit? Wait! What the heck? And the time's wrong. The time like okay, I need a new phone. Like stat. You know it was daylight savings last night. What? Really? Yes, it was daylight saving. Oh my god, so we just lost an hour today? Yes. Oh, that's one less hour I have to buy a new phone. Great. I'm hungry. Get a snack at the market. I don't like peanuts. They have more than peanuts. I don't know. It is a flea circus. <laughs> oh, it's one of these events where the parking lot is just grass. There's not even any lines on the ground. This is chaos. Wow, this place is huge. Look how many tents there are. I know. That's intense. <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me it costs money to get in. Only nine dollars. We should go home. <laughs> can we go there? Can we go? Can we go there? All right. Antique oh, antiques. I see. If you didn't know, Wifey Sauce is kind of an antique junkie. So I'm surprised she didn't marry a much older man. Please butts. What does please butts mean? Like, please, we want butts? Or please butts, settle down. I'll take five of the bunny mask and three of the mannequin. I think I found my next gaming chair. DX Racer, better watch out. How do those switches feel, honey? Oh, good. Can you tell if they're cherry mix blues or browns? Browns. I don't know, they got the click. I think they're blues. Oh my god, I'm so glad you stopped wearing those, honey. What do you think, honey? Would you ever would you ever get one of these? Yeah, it's a statement piece for sure. It's definitely a statement piece. It has this really cool aesthetic to it. Mm -hmm. I just I can't keep my eyes off of it. I see what you're doing there. What? I would tweet that I'm here right now, but I think this is a no hashtag zone. Wifey bought a thing. What'd you buy? A really funny picture. <laughs> Looks like you. Is that what I look like when I take a shower? Yep. Seems accurate. Well, you know what? I don't think we're gonna find anything better than this here, so we should probably leave. Now we get to play my favorite game. Where's our car? See, if they didn't cheap out and got a real parking lot with signs, we wouldn't be here right now. I have an idea. I hear it. I hear it. Keep pressing. It's getting louder. Do you hear it? <laughs> I, think, I think we're close. Walking through the streets of LA. LA is so cool. Walking through the streets of LA. 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 Hey, let's eat here. Mohawk Bend. Look how delicious it is. Wait, so so is this this is all vegan? So wait, you're saying that this pepperoni is not real? No. And this cheese isn't real? No. Good lord, woman. Is this beer real? Round two. Here we go. Round two. <laughs> your fault. Is that pickle in your coffee? Wait, how was that my that fault? That was your fault. You hit it. You weren't paying attention. I did not hit it. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. All right, we need an instant replay. Okay, I, I might I might owe you a new coffee and a new pickle. Do you want my pickle? Actually, no, you can't have it. Now we're on the way to the movie theater to go see Captain Marvel with some friends. Wifey Sauce and I are running extremely late, hence the crazy speeding and stressed look on Wifey's face. Please don't kill us. How are we so late? I was taking a nap and then you That's woke me why. up and then you're like, Bitch. And then you're like, no, call a lift. And then we called a lift. The lift it. ETA said three yes, minutes and then when I called it, it switched it to 15. You should have been paying attention to that and you should have said, hi, never mind, let's go right now. But instead we wasted a few minutes. No, I blame lift. I'm blaming technology. The very thing I swore to serve and protect has become my worst enemy. It says we'll get there in five minutes, four minutes. So ETA is 3.39. The movie starts at 3.45, right? And apparently at this theater, if you're late, they won't let you in. We are forgetting about parking. That could take some time, so. We might just be getting in by the skin of our teeth. Ah! I know you guys couldn't feel it, but Wifey Sauce just slammed on the brakes pretty hard. Please do not crash into the car whose bumper sticker says safety is my goal. Do not, stop it, stop braking like that. I'm gonna squish the Totoro. Ow, ow! You brought this on yourself. Your mother made me do it! Should we run? We probably shouldn't run. It might induce a bowel movement. I'm beating you. you I beat you, I beat you up the stairs. You suck, you, you suck. You are leaping, you can't do that. You have to take step by step. No, I can do whatever I want. There are no rules to the stair game. Cheater. Loser. Made it. Whew. That was close. Well, now that we're here, we might as well get some beer. Where the hell is it? It's number five? Ooh, I'm pumped. And I'm so glad I brought my camera because I can record the whole movie now. Hey, don't do that. The dance. All right, copyright, gotta, gotta, gotta cut now. Hello, little girl. Both my little girls. Hey, where are you going? You stink. Sorry, I farted.
My bad. How do you feel? I just know how to break up a good moment. Okay, it's the next day and we're back in the office. We actually have some furniture to put together because a lot of this office stuff, as you can see, has nowhere to go. So it's still in boxes or just kind of strewn about. And we have uh, some really nice cabinetry that we bought. It's not super expensive, but not super cheap either. Uh, we got this on Amazon, I believe, and we're gonna be putting it together so we actually have a place for all this stuff. And uh, we also have an Ikea desk that'll be replacing this cheap fold-out table. That will be my sort of benchmarking area with the various test beds and things like that. So right now, Wifey Sauce is actually moving all all this stuff into the dining room. I'm gonna help her as soon as I'm done vlogging here so that we actually have space in here to start building all of the furniture. So it should take a couple hours, but I think it'll be a lot nicer in here once it's all done. Let's get to it. Okay, we got the first uh, base cabinet done and it's looking pretty good, pretty straightforward. Definitely a cut above Ikea instructions and quality. But uh, you guys might've noticed that we did make a mistake. They actually have two sets of holes on either door so that you can make each door either a left or right door. We failed to notice that and drilled holes in both sections. So we actually just completely damaged the front of our brand new base cabinet, but that's okay because it's, Function, function over form, right? I'm, I'm a little less concerned about it than wifey sauce is, but uh, we, we might try to find something to, to cover this up. Maybe just get some like plastic white plugs or maybe a nice uh, bit with decal sticker. Hey, how about that? So uh, anyway, uh, we're making good progress. Don't want to slow down right now. So we're going to continue on with the side cabinets. I should probably just tell you the layout right now. So there's going to be a side cabinet here that's about the same width as one of these doors. Another side cabinet right here. And then we're going to do some wall mounted cabinets right above. So we're going to have like, you know, our printer and other office things here. And then it's, it's it's just gonna be a storage area for the office. So that's where we're at now, let's carry on. Mostly. You can see that uh, I've left the doors off of one of the wall mounted cabinets. Uh, these two at the top here, those are gonna be mounted to the wall. They're actually gonna be elevated uh, maybe a couple feet above the base cabinets. And at first we were thinking that we were actually just gonna have it sort of right where it is against this wall in the middle. And I'd have my benchmarking corner over there. But then we thought it looks a little awkward with just like so much stuff, this big glob of cabinetry just right in the middle of the room. So we actually measured it and found out that that actually fits. Fits perfectly in the little closet area here. So we're actually gonna put it in this little recessed area where a closet used to be before we tore it out and, and painted everything. So I think that's just gonna look a little nicer and also open up this whole wall for pretty much anything else, whether it be more storage. Wifey saw stepped out of the house, but when she gets back, she can help me move all this stuff over there and help me mount these wall cabinets. The way that these wall cabinets work is you pretty much just take a few three inch wooden screws and you screw right through these, these back panels into the studs in the wall. And the studs are spaced about 16 inches apart, so no problems there. Let me 
mission complete. Looking pretty fly. Now the plant and uh, printer here are just for scale and we haven't put anything inside of the cabinets yet. I'm not gonna bore you with that. But uh, as I said, fits pretty perfectly with even some space on the sides to spare. Looking pretty, pretty snazzy. Yeah. I'm so glad that it fit here because it just, it really opens up this room. The room looks massive now, whereas it looked pretty cramped when the cabinetry was right here. It was really just dwarfing the whole space. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for the video. Let's see what, does, do wifey sauce even? Does wifey sauce have a comment on our brand new cabinets? Where is she? Wifey! Where you, oh, it's messy in here. Don't go in there. Where is she? Wife. Has anyone seen my wife? The bedroom, of course. Of course she's in the bedroom. Or maybe she's not. Where the hell did she go? No. Honey. Her car's still here. You in the living room? Boy, have you seen the wife? Did she leave me? Did she finally leave me? What do you mean she should have done that a long time ago? You're useless. <sighs> Honey. She outside. The only room I haven't looked in yet. No, I think she's hiding from me. Closet. Nope. Okay, I give up. Where is she? Tell me where your mom is. Okay, this is really weird. Oh, honey, where are you? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Wow, that, <laughs> that took, took way you too long. I thought you would find me so much faster. Well, I was kind of looking at the, the viewfinder and the camera, so I wasn't really looking very well. Did you see the cabinets all done? What do you think? Looks good, huh? Looks good, looks like an office. We did a great job. Woo! Now we get to put the majority of this stuff in those cabinets. That's for another time, though. Guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, also like on it before you go and get subscribed for more tech stuff. Jeez, it's bright. Huh, nice view out today. Uh, all right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.